One tool I really like to recommend in schools is that of the golden lesson. If we'd love our students to have more ability to risk take and to innovate in the classroom, one of the key things or questions is, is it in the staff room as well? And quite often I think teachers can feel somewhat oppressed by an orthodoxy where they feel they have to play safe, especially when they're being observed. Well, the golden lesson is a lovely remedy for that. And a golden lesson is not necessarily an excellent lesson. It's simply a lesson in which you take a chance with some of the ways in which you go about teaching, breaking your habits. Uh, what could you do slightly differently? And it doesn't have to be the whole lesson at all. It might just be three minutes of a lesson. So what does that mean in practice? It might be trying a little uh, technique that you haven't tried before, um, using different kinds of questions and seeing what that does to the kind of thinking in the classroom. It might be changing the seating arrangement. Maybe you've had some doubts about having a circle of chairs and dialogue in a science lesson. But you're going to give it a go. See if it's got anything to offer. Or it might be a lovely experiment, which I observed a few terms ago. One teacher decided to halve their average talk time to see what happened. Uh, she timed it, had a, a teaching assistant time it. It was about 33% of the lesson, halved it almost, but found that the resilience, the openness, the responsibility, the independence in the lesson dramatically changed. What a great experiment. So this is something that the school might do as a whole. Let's say Wednesday morning at some point, everybody does a golden lesson. And that could work wonderfully with lesson observations as well where you invite an observer and you say, look, I'm taking a risk in this way. I'd love your feedback about that element to make it a coaching experience rather than a verdict.